five brand new baits from Duckett. Two awesome jerk baits. The BD Revolt Scopo MR Scopo DR Rattling. I get to do a little unboxing, something new that I haven't seen yet at all. I'm fortunate enough to work with a lot of brands, but one of the brands that I'm kind of most impressed with right now is Duckett Fishing. They got a bunch of new lures and new baits out there that, you know, Boyd had filled me in on and said, I I need to check out. So there's like 15 or 16 new baits that they've got in their lineup. Uh, I'm, I'm ordering ordering some of these new lures so I can test them out, see them and feel them. But I've been very impressed with so far. But I got a new order of ducking baits that came in. I just, just ordered it and, you know, I haven't even seen these. So these are all new products. Um, I believe this one is a bunch of different crankbaits and jerkbaits, I think. Some of the new crankbaits that he's got and some of the, the new jerkbaits that they got. But the box is still sealed. I've not ever seen these lures. I've never put my eyes on them. So I'm pretty excited to do that. And I might as well film it for you guys. Ducket Beats must have something to do with Mollux. Now, uh, Mollux has made some great stuff uh, over the years. Uh, and I know they're based out of Italy. I believe they're an Italian company. So anyway, it looks like Ducket Beats is working with Mollux now. And some of these are some of Mollux's designs that they kind of put their own little spin on or whatnot. But probably handling most of the Mollux business in the United States is Ducket. That's the way it looks like from now on. Somewhere in there is a bunch of lures. Lots of bubble wrap to play with later. Three boxes in there. On this one's longer and skinny. I can pretty much guess what that's going to be already. That's going to be the jerkbait. This is actually not. This is a, a crankbait. These are the BD Revolt Crank DR. I'm pretty excited to see this one. Oh, heck yeah. These are gorgeous. These are really nice. This is the BD Revolt or Boy Duckett Revolt Revolt Crank DR. It's got some root cool contours to it. I think I got this in the gold pearl shiner, I think. Pearl gray shiner. Nice looking crankbait. It says on this thing, it's floating two and a half inches, three eighths of an ounce, and it dies five to seven feet. I always like Ducket Bait stuff anyway, but I've been really impressed with this new stuff in their lineup. So there it is, the BD Revolt crank. It's got a real nice, I don't know, shape to it. It's got dips and curls so as it goes through the water it's definitely going to move that water a lot more this thing should have a really cool action to it loud single knocker in there it feels like it's just one big bead in there so it's going to make a deeper thud of a of a knock when it's going through the water the bill itself is is actually fairly long it's got a little different different angles to it seeing where the eye is here it should dive down pretty good like this and that big squared off bill should deflect off a cover, push grass out of the way, everything like that. So this is probably going to be a very good structure style crankbait with a different sound and a whole different shape and look than anything else. Very cool. I like it. The Ducket Revolt crank. What else have we got in here? These are all the jerk baits. There it is. Four jerk baits. I got two of each one of them. These are nice. The BD95. DR floating. This is ghost minnow color. It kind of looks like a baby bass shiner. It's got the big scales on it. A three and three quarter inch, seven sixteenth ounce, dives a eight to eleven and a half feet. This is a deep diving floating jerk bait, which should help you give you a little bit more action to it. You get it down to depth. You do the pops and you do the jerks and then pause it and it's going to float up give you let you dive it back down again so it covers a little bit more water than your traditional suspension jerk bait would very very sharp bait it's a ghost minnow so it is translucent you get the light that shines through there and kind of a greeny green and brown natural colors nice big broad wide diving bill on that one there are two beads right here two bb's bb's and there's a channel a track that runs all the way through it you cast it and it goes butt first those beads fall out there, which is gonna help it drive and cast much, much farther. And then when it sits in the water, nose goes down a bit, the BBs float back to the, go back to the front there and give it a little more roll and, and, and reaction every time you jerk or pause this thing. So the BD95 jerk bait, man, really, really liking the looks of that one. And here we go on this one. Oh, this is sexy. 
This is the uh, BD-110 suspending. I got this in Ghost French Pearl. Really beautiful looking bait. Compared to the 95, it's a little bit bigger of the bait. It's got three hooks compared to the two hooks on the 95. So this one actually is going to go, it's four and a half inches, so it's longer. Five sixteenths of an ounce. 1.6, that's an odd number. It dies 1.6 to four feet. That's beautiful bait. Much thinner profile on this one here than on the other one. Smaller hooks all together, but three of them, the whole profile is much more slender. It has that smaller bill, but look how wide that bill is compared to the bait itself. It's just gonna help it go side to side and deflect a little bit more. Inside of this bait, I see one ball bearing right there. There is one more ball bearing buried in just behind that the eye in a cavity. That's probably gonna give that little extra weight down in the nose to get, keep that thing to go head down. But then it's got that one singular ball bearing, which is right here right now. And when I tip it up, it falls all the way to the back. So again, it's gonna help you with casting distance. As you jerk it and pause it, this thing's gonna have a little bit different reaction depending on where that ball bearing ends up. Cool design. Almost has a small finesse feel to it. Really, really happy with this. Ghost French Pearl. Got a beautiful pearlescent color here too. Nice shimmer. But it is ghost, it's translucent on the bottom, and it's got this like gray blue tip to the head. That is gonna be a killer, killer winter bait, especially in clear water conditions. Loving, loving these new jerk baits. The BD95 BR floating and the BD110 suspending. Two awesome jerk baits from Duckets. So we got one box left in here. This is the other crankbaits. It's the BD Sculpal series. Scopo, I think they had these and they discontinued them and now they're bringing them back. I'm not really positive. They actually have three in the series of these BD Scopos. I've only just grabbed the two because the third one is a, a extra deep diving one and I hardly ever get a chance to fish deep diving crankbaits. There's just not a lot of that in my area. So I only went with the square bill style or the short bill and then the medium diver style. They look Really awesome now that I'm looking at them. This is the BD Sculpo MR Rattling Crankbait. Two and a quarter inches long, half ounce in weight, dives three, three and a half to five feet, red craw. It's hard to beat a, a red shallow diving crankbait like that. They love that craw. I can tell you, even in the box, this thing's got a lot of glass beads in it or something. Kind of got like a lipless crankbait sound to it. Wow, I like this. First of all, just look at this bait from the side, the big buggy eyes on it. It's got some really nice gill plates on it. Somewhat traditional shape when you look at it from this side of it. When you look at it from the top of it, completely different. Very wide in the head, narrowing down to a, more of a tapered tail. Much, much more robust than a traditional crankbait of this size. The finish on it is just fantastic. Really good jobs with the paint, the details in the molding, the gill plates to the eyes inset, even the little mouth or lips up here, even right down to the bottom here. The bill itself is kind of squared off in a lot of places, and it's not actually as wide as the body is. I, I'm assuming it's not so much in place to try to deflect off a cover like a traditional square bill. This is more just a shallow running crankbait that's gonna make a lot of noise. You hear that. There is a ton of beads in there, probably glass or plastic beads, so it's creating a lot of noise. Much like a lipless, but not quite as obnoxious or loud. Because the angle of this is probably going to dig down pretty good. I think it's going to draw a lot of attention. It makes a lot of noise. And it looks really cool. The BD Sculpo MR. The last one here. This is the BD Sculpo DR. Again, got that similar, very same sound coming out of it. Same shape, but a much bigger, broader bill. It's two and a quarter inches, half ounce. And it dies six to eight feet. It only dies a couple feet deeper. This is the DR in Gizzard Shad. What a cool color. I like this. But this is going to do super, super well in uh, that darker, tannic waters. Really great finishes in the design to it. The shape is just unique. Now on this one, the bill is not only much longer, it's much wider. It actually is as wide, if not wider, than the body itself. So it's gonna do much better at deflecting off a of structure. And you see where the, the, the line tie is way down here. If it was up here, that would make a design to dive deeper. It's gonna come on more of an angle. 
with it being down here, it's going to run a little bit less like this. And it's going to kind of just chop through. This should be a, a pretty good grass fishing or fishing around grass edges or whatnot. Love the paint job. Love the color. Love a lot of things about this bait. But that sound, when this thing's going, that's going to be awesome. I would fish this very similar to theirs. I would be fishing a lipless crankbait, although it's going to have that floating effect to it. So that's going to be awesome because you get really get hung up in there or whatever. You can rip it out or you can just stop and let it float back up. There it is. Five brand new baits from Ducket. I'm really impressed and I'm excited to get out there on the water and start tossing some of these things. Wonder what I'm going to catch it on first. My money's on that jerk bait though.